he was hilarious. I love that kid. Like he he would make a joke out of like anything, and he literally would put a smile on everybody's face. He'd try and make everyone feel better. The Ticonderoga community still in shock just one day after police say 15-year-old Maverick Bowman was allegedly killed at his Putnam home by his friend, 16-year-old Adrian Sawyer. Everybody was friends with Maverick. Nobody didn't like Maverick. It's just, it's tragic. I mean, it just can't begin to be, to, to, to quantify those, uh, those emotions of why would this happen. Washington County District Attorney Tony Jordan says the state is still trying to figure out what led to Bowman's death. Officials believe Sawyer set the Route 2 home on fire after the killing. He pleaded not guilty to second degree murder and second degree arson charges during his arraignment at the Washington County Jail. Meanwhile, police spent much of the day collecting evidence as they wrap up their investigation. The investigation is at its very early stages um, and will take you know, a period of time. Some will be quickly resolved today. Others will take much longer, I'm sure. In the meantime, the Ticonderoga Central School District says it's trying to grapple with the impact this tragedy will have on its students and staff. Superintendent John McDonald says Bowman was heading into his junior year and Sawyer was going to be a senior. That's something you, you can't prepare for. Um, and But we're doing everything we can to, to support our community. Counseling services are being offered to anyone who needs them as this community tries to cope with this tragedy. It's just sad to think that somebody would do something like that.